welcome to the Dr. Gundry podcast. You know, Western medicine is absolutely great at treating the symptoms of disease. In fact, I've witnessed the incredible life-saving methodologies during my practice as an infant and adult heart surgeon. But when it comes to disease prevention, most doctors simply want to prescribe you a drug and send you out the door. Well, my guest today says American and European doctors have gotten almost everything about disease prevention totally backwards. Dr. Frank Olena is an expert in homeopathic and traditional medicine, which he practices at his clinic in Portorone, Italy, outside of Venice. And on today's episode, Dr. Lena and I will talk about what a visit to your doctor could and possibly should look like the traditional remedies he relies on with his patients and how a more holistic approach to medicine could transform your health. Dr. Lennon, thanks so much for joining us all away from Italy today. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me here. So let me ask you this. What if um, I'm, a, I'm a patient who comes to your clinic? What, what would my visit look like in, in your clinic as, as opposed to what uh, you and I know happens at a, a regular uh, allopathic doctor's office? First of all, we take care of the verbal approach, which means words. Words have to be easy, easily understood. So we talk in an easy way, just like counselors, just like, just like Carl Rogers used to say, you have to be empathic with any person who comes in. Verbal communication is good. However, body language is even better. We are trained, especially as a psycho, a body psychotherapist, I was trained in body language. And body language is incredible, amazing, because our subconscious is not just in the brain, it's in the stomach, in the gut, in your blood, in your heart, all over. So first of all, we talk in a friendly, easy way, to our clients, to our patients. So the client understands that I, I am interested in him, in her, as a person, not only as a symptom, not only as a disease or a syndrome, which is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about all the four levels every time. So we find out what's going on in our four levels. We have to find out what's going on. Then we want to see blood works, mainly inflammation markers, vitamins, vitamin D3. They're very useful. And in my, in my case, since when I went to Germany, to Berlin, to specialize in quantum medicine, we also have some quantum medicine tests. And they work with our energetic level, with our magnetic level, which is unbelievable. And then we will talk more, more deeply, uh, maybe in another in another question. Okay. So it's a medical uh, setting, but in a human form, um, in a, a holistic way. Uh, and so people are, love this kind of approach because um, they are used to a specialist who don't even look at them. They just look at the papers. And that's crazy. 
So we have to be friendly, friendly and uh, make it easy for them. So you you mentioned you know you mentioned quantum uh, energy and quantum healing, and I know uh, Deepak Chopra has has written about this and spoken about this. What yep. uh, th this is a very for particularly Americans, um, particularly American consumers of medicine. Uh, this is yeah. this is a very odd concept. And yep. can you can you give us an idea? Um, maybe even tell me how would somebody measure uh, a quantum energy field, or what kind of test do you use? I love quantum medicine because it is holistic. Has the same approach. It's very similar to holistic medicine. It belongs to holistic medicine. Quantum medicine is a method, a systemic method, which means it's like a scanner and it takes scans all over you, not just where you feel hurt or where you have a disease. It's not enough. It's uh, also informational because quantum medicine medicine gives us a lot of informations which is not only words but waves it's like a, a quantum physics so it, it quantum medicine is quantum physics applied to the human body And quantum medicine heals with frequencies, with biophotons. It's unbelievable. Every cell we have, and we have just about 100,000 billion cells, even more. Every little cell has its own magnetic field. Whenever an electric field moves and cells are moving constantly, they produce a magnetic field. And it's like an internet. They cooperate and they talk always. In a, in a split of a second, 15 milliseconds, they talk to each other. All our 100,000 billion cells in 15 milliseconds send their message to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is our boss, our chief, and is what's going on in your liver, what's going on in your gut. So he checks out what's going on and sends back a message in a few milliseconds seconds unbelievable so we are a miracle we real our body is really a miracle and using frequencies we have to talk about biological frequencies because there are many many uh, frequencies around which hurt which make us sick High, very high frequencies are dangerous. So we have to use biological frequencies, which means the same frequencies we produce in ourselves. That's why it works. So we talk to the cells with the same language that the cells are using, talking to each other. It's a beautiful idea. So we use medical devices, mainly made in Germany. Germany is number one in the world. They began just about 60 years ago to build medical devices as far as quantum medicine is concerned. And they take care of your electromagnetic fields. 
because whenever your magnetic field is weak or is not connected in a good way, in that case, in that part of your body, sooner or later, a disease is coming. And when we use the same frequencies, biological frequencies, that our body should produce, should, sometimes it does not, because we are full of poisons, we are full of uh, whatever, whatever. The poor cells don't know what to do. It's like your battery, you buy a new car, a beautiful car, a Ferrari, but the battery is low, it's not going to work. So me quantum medicine is taking care of your batteries all around your body. I'll give you just a few numbers. We have to use very low frequencies and very low intensities of magnetic fields. Otherwise, it is not quantum medicine. Otherwise, it is called, wait, because it's, it's difficult, I wrote it down, <laughs> magnetotherapy, which is not the same. It's like a little car, a little Fiat, and a Ferrari. Very different. So, or a, a Chevy, maybe, you prefer. <laughs> So, are, are so the, the, the numbers, the numbers, the frequencies in your body go from 0, 1 up to 1,100 hertz. That's the biological frequency. And the intensity of our magnetic field goes from 0, 1 up to 50 micro tesla, which is nothing, very, very little, like a feather like a leaf, you know, when, when, when the fall comes and leaves fall down, they fly. So our DNA flies because most of the waves come from the DNA, from the so-called junk DNA, which is not junk at all, which is good for life, which is great. It's working in a beautiful way. If you use any other kind of waves, high intensity, high frequencies, it is dangerous. So watch out. Whenever we approach quantum medicine, we have to buy, we have to use good medical devices. If they are too strong, they kill you. Hmm. So are the... Are the, you know, as you know, as you may know, in the United States, we, the FDA regulates medical devices and approves them for use or doesn't approve them for use. Are these medical devices from Germany approved for use in the United States? Yeah, there are a few. There are a few because they have been used in many universities and hospitals in Germany. In Italy, I am the, uh, <laughs> we have only two specialists in Italy. One is me up in the north, and the other one is down south in Sicily, and in between nothing. <laughs> so many, many doctors come to me to learn the basis of quantum medicine and it works it works because we found out that our cell has an electric field every cell and it should be it must be minus 70 millivolts that's health health means cells with this electric field minus 70 millivolts around the membrane, the cell membrane. But when we get sick, it goes down to 50, 40. Cancer is 10 millivolts. A chronic disease, like an autoimmune disease, like fibromyalgia or MS, 20, 25. So you can detect 
what's going on in your body, measuring your electric field. As far as a magnetic field, we produce the intensity from 0, 1 up to 1,000, 1,100 when we are okay. If we go to the Olympic Games, of course, we produce much, much more. But when we sit, when we talk, like now, very low frequencies and very low intensity. That's life. Life is tiny, is tender, is gentle. So let's, let's use an example that you brought up. Um, let's suppose someone comes to you with, with an autoimmune disease like, uh, like MS. Uh, now, you know, in the United States, uh, traditional doctors would start biologic uh, drugs to, you know, stop the immune system from, uh, from attacking the myelin sheath. And I personally don't use that approach. I use food and changing the gut microbiome. But where, so how would you approach that patient who now comes into your office? Of course, all of us, all of the doctors all over the world have been studying the chemistry because when it is needed, it works. For instance, for instance, if you need surgery, you've got to go to the hospital. If you need an ER emergency room, you've got to go there, not to, a homo, not to a homeopath. So whenever there is a risk, when you're, when you're running for your life, allopathy works in a beautiful way. But many, many times they use mm, too much, too much chemistry. So our poor body, our poor uh, filters, they, they are so uh, poisoned. The, the liver, the gut, kidney, lungs, lymphatic system, these are filters. And we age more if our filters are bad if our filters are dirty. So the more dirty the filters, the worse you are aging. That's why we need cleaning. That's why diet, first of all, and quantum medicine and holistic medicine, they clean in a beautiful way. So, of course, we need to know allopathic medicine. All of us have an allopathic degree. We cannot um, forget that whenever the situation is difficult, allopathy saves your life. And that's great. So, good, good. But many, many times our clients are full of chemicals, full of poisons. For instance, we found out that every year we collect as much as one kilo of poisons. One kilo every year. So are you sure that you're cleaning up enough? Usually no. Usually whenever January the 1st comes, we still have poisons and toxins. We have to detoxify through diet, through quantum medicine, through holistic medicines. We have many, many, many remedies to clean up. Diet is number one because food can be a medicine but food can be a poison. It's up to you. You can die if your food is not good. Sooner or later, you can choose. I die right now, like Socrates, <laughs> or I die within 20 years. So cleaning, 
is very, very important. Holistic medicine, our approach is of cleaning, cleaning, cleaning our filters. So besides diet, where does holistic medicine, how, how, do, how do you clean filters besides diet? Give, it, give us some practical application. What we use, we use plants, I mean medical plants, not poisonous plants, please. Because many clients, are you giving me some poison? No, I'm not giving you any poison. Otherwise, I go to jail. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use medical plants. So, since when we were in the caves, no, we've been trying each plant and find out what's going on. If it's good, okay. <laughs> if you have a diarrhea, bad for you. <laughs> Next time, I'm not going to eat it anymore. So, it, it's a good method through trials and errors trials and errors in many many thousands of years we found out which ones are the good plants and the name is phytotherapy i've been teaching phytotherapy at the university of la jola they say la jola in uh, in california <laughs> uh, plants and homeopathy at uh, in switzerland uh, the Swiss, Swiss campus, La Jolla University, for five years. I first fell in love with phytotherapy through yoga, through Ayurvedic medicine. Then I went to Germany and to France. I moved to Lyon for five years to study homeopathy and to study the holistic approach. And also spagyric medicine. Spagyrics is mm, similar to homeopathy, and like brothers and sisters, sometimes they fight, then sometimes they get along well. We do just about the same job with uh, a different method, but we take care of the inner before and the outer later, not the other way around, otherwise it doesn't work. So inside of us, even at the psychological level, we are wonderful. We have all the answers within, inside. So phytotherapy, Ayurvedic medicine, spagyric remedies, um, homeopathic, and um, trace elements. Trace elements are fantastic, like chrome, uh, like um, ooh, selenium, uh, like copper, oh, they work. So our body is holistic because with so little, uh, a trace element is nothing, very micrograms, which is just about nothing. But if you do not have the trace element, you die. Not only you get sick, you die. So trace elements work in a wonderful way. So you mentioned psychosomatic medicine. Where? Ooh, ooh, so ooh. So where does that fit in this whole process? You know, if we go back, 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 back down the centuries, ancient medicine, which is Taoism in China, Ayurvedic medicine in India, Tibetan medicine in Tibet, and also uh, Egyptian medicine that in the past, not, the, not, not now, in the past. And then Hippocrates, and then uh, the school of Salerno near Napoli, where we have very old people, just like you say, Acharyoli, in, in your book, very old and strong people and nice people, healthy. They smile. They say, oh, come here. I'll give you some wine. So friendly. Hmm? So good energy, good vibration. So down, down the ages, the ancient medicines 
and ancient doctors, of course, found out that first of all, we have to make a balance to even the whole body, the whole energy, uh, the whole organism. And it comes from two, three thousand years ago. And they used to say, first of all, you will have troubles as far as your emotions are concerned. Later, you will have a headache or gastritis or bronchitis or uh, asthma or whatever. So they told us, you're crazy because viruses, microbes are number one cause of the diseases. Fortunately, in 74, 1974, in California, where you live, 74, there was a medical research, scientific research, number one in the world, and they told us, hey, guys, most of our diseases come down from your emotions. And after that, 2,500 more researchers prove that we have to take care of our emotions, which means we have to take care of our three brains. We have a brain up in the skull. Sometimes it doesn't work well, but we have to have it. We have a good brain in the guts, which is our third chakra. And number three, but I should say number one, our heart. The heart is a brain. Quantum medicine, the research which came up studying quantum medicine, especially in Berlin. In Berlin, there is number one um, quantum physics institute, number one in the world. It's in Berlin. They found out this. The electric field of our heart goes from 100 up to 1,000 times higher, more powerful than the brain. Electric field. As far as a magnetic field, watch out because it's unbelievable, up to 5,000 times higher, more powerful. So the heart is the real boss. And where is the, whenever there is a synchronicity in between the three brains, the skull, the heart, and the gut, we are fine. But when they fight, oh boy, that's the chronic disease. Chronic disease comes from low frequencies, low intensity, when the magnetic fields do not work. It's like your car, you've got a beautiful car, a Chevy, number one Chevy, beautiful, red color, shining, and low battery. Oh my God, you've got to push your car. <laughs> Otherwise you're not gonna go to work tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe you go jogging. I know you like to, huh, to yeah. go. So that's unbelievable. Well, I, I certainly agree with you, you know, as a heart surgeon and cardiologist, uh, the heart's the number one. So I, I absolutely agree with you. But let me, so, you know, our, our listeners are going, well, I want to do this, but I'm going to go into my doctor tomorrow and I want my doctor to practice quantum healing on me. What? You're, my, my patient's going to get thrown out of the doctor's office. Um, how, yeah. how, can, how can our listeners um, get someone to listen to them about this possibility? How's that? So you're talking about allopathic doctors do not believe 
do not want their clients, their patients to uh, to go to uh, different doctors. Uh, we used to be called alternative doctors in the 50s, in the 60s. We're not alternative to nothing because we work with energy. And you remember since the many quantum physics 100 years ago, they used to say everything is energy, even your diseases, even your thoughts, even your feelings, even your uh, mindset. The mask we are wearing every day is energy. So I remember I graduated in the University of Milan with the Mexican cum laude and so on and so forth. Uh, they never told me about quantum physics, never. They told me there is an apple. Watch out because the apple, <laughs> when, you, when the apple eats your head, it hurts. Oh no, it doesn't, go, it doesn't work like that. So our fellow colleagues, the allopathic doctors, they seldom go deep and study the energetic levels, which is scientific. It is not philosophy, it is science. Quantum physics is science. Quantum physics applied to the human body is quantum medicine. So many times my clients phone to me, my patients phone to me, oh, my doctor, what's going on? He found out I came <laughs> to your clinic. Wow. So he's going to kill me. However, I go to the States two, three times a year because my daughter lives in Philly. So I, I, I have a few friends, a few doctors. Uh, in the States is even worse. In Europe is a little bit better. In Italy, for example, we have 10 million people using uh, holistic medicine, 10 million. And the population is 65 million. So uh, it's, a, it's a huge percentage. And in every city, there is a list of the doctors who are allowed to be homeopath, to work with phytotherapy, quantum medicine. And I am the head for my area. So whenever a young fellow, a young uh, colleague comes, I've, I have to check his papers, his degrees, and find out what kind of university did you go to, what kind of studies. So in Italy, Every city has a list. So our colleagues, our allopathic colleagues, they scream, but after a while they cool down. But most of the times they accept that the client has been trying whatever. Most of our clients went to the hospital. Most of our clients went to many, many other a specialist, but it didn't work because nobody used the cleaning method, nobody used the diet method, nobody used the energy method. And if you have those issues, either you take care of those three things, otherwise you're lost. So sometimes it happens that they phone to me and they are kind of uh, scary. Huh? Sometimes they say, okay, my doctor said, I don't know anything about it. I don't care about that. If you like it, go on. And, and now, recently, because I've been working for 45 years with this medicine, so I'm pretty popular. Recently, allopathic doctors send their clients to me. And the best is when a young couple come with a baby, maybe a six months baby, and they tell me, here's the baby, he's fine. You have to keep my 
baby, in a good shape. Great, that's beautiful. That's beautiful because uh, prevention is number one as far as holistic. I would say as far as medicine is concerned. Correct. Not holistic. Yeah. Prevention. If you don't do anything about prevention, my God. Huh? So what, what you say? so, you know, this is, um, again, this is uh, very difficult for, for patients to find someone like you in the United States, obviously. But what's, what's one thing, uh, if you're going to give people one thing that they can do at home or in their practice, uh, to take care of themselves. Just give me one thing. The one thing is love yourself. If you love yourself, you will find the way out. Anyway, if we, we have to go down to only one, one is diet. Because you can have the best engine in the world but if you put water in your engine, it's not going to work. <laughs> but let's say three things, because one is very All right, three uh, narrow. Things, three things. Uh, so one, number one is diet, of course. No, no doubt. Number two is cleaning. There are many, many natural methods to clean our filters. When we age... Let's say we are 50 years old. We are not 50. We are 100. <laughs> we are 200, <laughs> not 50. So the, the real age we have is the age of our filters, our liver, our lymphatic system, our gut. Uh, that's the real age. Whenever we clean and holistic medicine and quantum medicine knows how to clean, you rejuvenate. You are 10, 12, 20, 40 years younger than before. Your blood works, wow, that's beautiful. What did you do? I just clean up myself. So cleaning is very important. And it's too bad that in our hospitals, they don't clean the, they, don't, they do not know the method of cleaning. And number three, relax. Meditation, yoga, visualization, which is my method. In the years, I developed a method which I call medicine and soul. Medicine and soul is trying to put together our body and our energetic spiritual level and it's unbelievable how it works and it's easy even children can learn this method whenever we relax our brain is happy our neuromediators are happy our emotional molecules, we have billions of emotional molecules. Our ECS is working in a good way. So you see, our body is holistic. Because if we have an endocannabinoid system taking care of us like internet instantly, it means we are holistic. So, relaxation, meditation is not a waste of time. There are many, many researchers, mainly with mindfulness, but also with yoga and, and other kinds of meditation. And they work. They improve your brain. They lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and whatever. So the third important thing, one is diet, two is cleaning, and three is meditation, relaxation, yoga, or even walk and go to the wild. 
go to the river, go to, I don't know, whatever. But good vibrations. I know it sounds hippie, good vibrations, <laughs> from California, from the 60s, but it, it, it is true with our um, quantum devices, we can measure. We do not call them vibrations. We call them frequencies. But it's the same thing. So when we meditate, all our brain calms down. Remember, Buddha used to say, you have to choose in what dimension you want to live, in what kind of universe you want to live. Do you want to live in the being universe? In that case, go in. Because all the answers are within yourself. We have all the answers. We have the whole universe inside of us. Do you want to choose doing? You keep on doing, doing, working, working, working. You miss, you miss a lot. It's up to you. So holistic medicine helps people to go down, to go in. It's part of our therapy. Maybe someone doesn't want to meditate. Okay, relax. Walk, go to the beach, take care of your dog. I have two dogs, for instance, and three horses, and I love them. And they give me a lot of energy. You know, animals, when they are in good shape, they have a lot of energy, much more than we do. Very good. I love animals, you know, and I, I heal, I treat my animals myself. I call my vet when I don't understand, and the vet, ah, you're not going to use my remedies, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to give me the diagnosis, and then I take care of him. My horse was 700 kilos. I don't know in pounds, but it was huge. A big horse. And he had arthritis, and the vet said, we have to shot. We have to give him shots of cortisone. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not going to improve. Okay. Come back in two months. So I changed the diet of the horse, and I gave him essential oils, rosemary, and it works. He hated me because it tasted so bad. He didn't want to take the remedy because essential oils are very, very bad. But in two months, no disease. When the vet came back, what did you do? He asked, how come your horse is fine? No cortisone, <laughs> please. <laughs> well, I think that's a wonderful place to, to end this discussion. Uh, so thanks for coming on the show today. Where, where can people find out more about your work? Well, I am a good doctor, but I am not as good as you are with, um, how would you say? Uh, Publicity. Te te techniques. <laughs> I am old style, old fashioned. So if you go on um, YouTube with my name, Franco Lena, L-E-N-N-A, there are a few um, interviews. Mm, most of them are in Italian, but there are four in English. Because I already uh, had some interviews with, Ameri with two American radios. Yeah. One was on homeopathy. I spoke for two hours in deeply about homeopathy and spagyric medicine. The other one is about quantum medicine. And the third one is with a fellow uh, psychotherapist. We talked about emotions. Perfect. So on YouTube, if you go to YouTube, 
not much, but something you can find. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure chatting with you and meeting you and uh, keep, keep, keep doing the good work. Thank you, Stephen. So Ciao. it's been great being here. Ciao, Franco. Uh, it's time for our audience question. Vicki Wells on YouTube asks, do any supplements break a fast? I've heard some do. Um, well, quite frankly, when I'm fasting, I continue to take my supplements. Uh, I take my supplements twice a day. So uh, even if I'm fasting in the morning, I'll take my supplements. One thing you might want to do if you are taking a lot of fats, particularly omega-3 fats, for instance, your fish oils, uh, you might want to consider having those you know, when you break your fast or you know, later in the day because those calories technically can break a fast, but in general, um, most of the supplements are not going to break a fast, but that's a great question. Okay, now it's time for the review of the week. Uh, this week's review comes from Josh Christ on iTunes, who left us a five-star review and wrote, whether you're already deep into your journey of authentic health and wellness or just getting started organizing your lifestyle around what matters most, this is a must-listen podcast for you. Dr. Gundry does an incredible job of leading conversations that cover the entire range of mental, emotional, cultural, and physical challenges we all face learning to navigate the transition to our optimal state of health. Highly recommend listening and subscribing. Well, thanks, Josh, for that, and that's great advice. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to the Dr. Gundry Podcast on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or wherever you listen to this show. So that's all for today's episode, and remember, I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Before you go, I just wanted to remind you that you can find the show on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.